Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with episode 7 of our Kingdom Come Deliverance Let's Play. 7 out of 10, maybe more, we'll see how it all goes. For the moment, we're working our way back to Skalitz. And we've just entered Rovna, which hasn't gone very well for the uh, Rovnans. We met a looter and... Fortunately, we're able to put him down before he finished us off. Once I figured out how to get my sword out. And, uh, yeah. Oh, God. What? Well, I guess we can look at this structure up here. We're kind of a looter right now, too. But, you know, them's the brakes at the moment. Okay, well, we're not taking anything from there. What time is it, anyway? Noon. Okay. It sure looks dark for noon. Maybe it's the weather. Actually, let's... Can't delay, no time to lose. Okay. I was going to take a look at the, uh... The wait time. Oh, well. Ah. <sighs> All right, anyway, we are, I guess we could fast travel, but what's our nourishment at? 70, so we've lost four. Let's, how far is it really to Skullitz? It's not quite as far, although I think we might want to be on the other path. Let's jump across the river here. Loot. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Carrot and dried fruit. Fruit. Well, it's steel. How is that stealing? I don't think he's going to need it anymore. Well, let's see who else might have things up here. Bread and dried mushroom. Well... It's not the most noble thing we could do, but it's uh, better than starving. What did we get from her? Bread and... Sword is bloody. How do we fix that? I wonder. Um, oh, look, we could have equipped it from here. No, it is equipped. Um, dried mushrooms, that's what we got. Okay, so... We're, kept, we're topped off on food. I won't steal too much food just because I don't know if we're going to get caught by anyone doing anything. Something valuable like armor is an entirely different story. Coins, same thing. Um, and horseradish, apparently. I couldn't keep my hands off the horseradish. Ooh, an axe. We'll take that. Oh, sure, we'll take the pretzel, too. Okay, let's see where... Ooh, that was cool. You know, in the... We're standing out in the open with a long piece of metal in our belt kind of way. Apple and horseradish will leave you. Bread and horseradish. Pear and a torch. Jesus. It's the charcoal burner. Dried mushrooms. You know, those dried mushrooms gave us a lot of food. So let's grab those. Okay. Um, apple and a pretzel. We'll let that go. There's a lot of food out here. Okay. Hi! What? 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 Well, why would anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? He's probably doing it for the same reason we're doing it, Henry, so we can, you know, live. Like, a bandage is kind of, you know, something we could use. 
I admit, it is not what I would prefer to be doing right now. But... An unsheathed weapon will provoke fear among villagers, and in towns and citizens are likely to call a guard on you. Is my weapon unsheathed? No. Maybe it should be. We discovered a shrine. Okay, the money we're taking, the bandage we're taking. Is the stuff identifiably stolen? Um, doesn't look like it is. Okay, well, like I said, I'm not proud of what we're doing, but... We're at least on the outskirts of home. What's what do we got here? Okay. Entertainment. That was not what it was supposed to do. Yeah. Mercy kill, huh? Got no patience for things that attack me. Never have, never will. Well, looky what you got here, sunshine. Somebody has been taking the good stuff. Okay, so we're going to take all. And since we're at it, let's take a look here. We've got a hat. Wait a minute. He looks like he has a hat in right now. Or maybe, is that a preview? Okay, I'm not entirely sure, but... We've got another jerk in here with 51 quality. We'll put that on. A light gambeson. Oh, this is our armor count. This actually has more armor so we'll put that on linen hood sure noble shoes sure old boots no patched toes plate cooters cooters coders whatever we'll put those on okay so I'm guessing this is the it's dirty symbol like our weapon <coughs> Maybe we need a, uh, a water trough to clean that. Let's check dried mushrooms. Okay. Fast travel point. Let's slip into the structures. Just so we're a little easier place to uh, cut line of sight if there's a bad guy around who sees us that isn't just a looter like us. <sighs> Bandage will take that. I probably, if I was smart, I would take all the food too, but you know, I just feel. feel like that's not something we would do back at this time. Wash ourselves. Okay, let's see if that washed the sword too. Uh, no, it didn't. Okay. Well, let's take it out then. Try it. Okay. How do I... How do I use... How do I clean the weapon? Main hand, yes, yes, I see that. Okay, maybe now if I clean? Um, no. It's a little damaged. Item info. Yeah, yeah, I get that, but how do we... 
No, we're putting it back in our inventory here. Still not sure how to clean that. Maybe if we find a rag or something. A radish. Okay, well, we'll leave that. Schnapps and wine. Oh, well, you know, no sense letting them go to waste, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. Where exactly we are in Scalitz, except we want to go to the A point. There's a lot going on over there, but we may have to check that later. Let's check this structure. It looks like it might be intact. Hmm. Okay, a couple things. I noticed that there is a burden icon, so I am overburdened. Let's. Um, eat some horseradish. And... Well... Why did I get a little poison symbol? Is horseradish bad for you? Food. Energy. Okay. Well... Not entirely sure, unless somehow the food is tainted because I got it from looting. Which, that would be really awesome. Um, right, is this where we just were? Yeah. No? No. Somewhere else. I feel very tense. Like, um, this is, a uh, you know, nerves edge kind of thing in a good way. You know, I feel like I'm very in the moment. Still want to wash self. Did that wash our sword out? No. What on earth washes this sword? I would think, you know, wiping the sword on someone, or on a cloth. Oh, okay, got stuck on something there for a moment, but we're going this way. we look at you folks yet? Not really. Okay. Okay. So... Gates burn. I have to be a little careful. I'm not sure what falling damage is like. Maybe we can work our way around to another entrance. Oh, I can't run because I'm overburdened. horse. Uh-oh. Okay, we need to not be overburdened if we're going to face someone. We also should put these gloves on. Good. Is there anything else I forgot to put on? No. Why don't we drop the wine here? There we go. 
And yep, there's our sword. We're good to go. Just in case this is an unfriendly looter as opposed to hey, a timid looter. To? Hey, who's... what do we got here? A guy with a sword. And good night, Gracie. I knew that speech skill would come in handy. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Let's put the cue down. Oh, he's got a marigold decoction. We'll be taking that. An ordinary tar jacket. These things look like they're worth taking. And the bandage. So we are crazy overloaded. Let's in turn then drop. We'll move that to him. And the linen hood to him. And patched hose. Patched hose. Tight olive hose. Eh, I don't know, maybe we should keep our original clothes. They're the closest things to nice clothes. Foot wraps and soles, we'll get rid of that. Um, okay. Let's see, let's uh, back off here and see what we can actually put on. So, armor. I think we want to put on this tarred jacket and this black coif. I think is way better than that one. So we're going to drop that. And... Are we wearing this? Outer garment. I don't think we're wearing this anymore. I think, is it? No, no, we can wear that. It's just this or that. Actually, it's better armor than the tarred jacket. So we'll drop the tarred jacket. And... Yeah, let's see. Where are we at? Statistics. Oh, okay. Oh, we've picked up some things. We haven't leveled with this fellow yet. Speech. Um, final offer, highborn, lowborn. I'm not ready to choose that yet. Um, anyway, we can worry about all this when we're not in the middle of the street in a burning town. Let's put the sword up. Okay. The bailiff. He didn't run like me. He died with a sword in his hand. That may be true, my friend, but the key word there is he died. Bandage, we'll take that. Groschen, we'll take that. Shard. Is that a type of sword? The name of a sword? It's actually not bad damage. It's similar to... Ours. I think ours is 45. Used to buy a sigh and he did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon them like me. This must be Deutsch. Okay. Uh, 
I could have sworn they fell like right around here. Do it to me, Father. Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here, under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. spade. Oh boy. Maybe we had one back at the house. Well, I'm gonna be a little careful here. Yeah, see there's no way those guys escaped this castle. They just didn't unless there's, you know, like a route out or something. They must have made a deal. Maybe that's why he suggested we make a deal at Talmberg. Do we have a spade? Under normal circumstances, I'd say. We should enjoy the sound of the rain on the wood, but... Broom. Huh. Is there a spade up here? The, the charcoal burner. Oh, but he was out on the road. If he had a spade, it probably went with him. Maybe a uh, Deutsch... Not Deutsch, um, Kunesh. He had tools. I don't think a spade was one of the things that father sold him, but... Looks like Kunesh's place burned. I don't suppose anybody's going to be carrying a shovel. That would be really obvious. Not in a wagon. Somebody's here. Who's here? Okay.
This was the traitor. It's a dog. Oh boy. Come on. We can't just pull our sword. Oh, there we go. What's going on over here? Oh. A labyrinthine little village. Someone with a spade. Get away, you mutt! Get away, Someone. you beast! Deutsch's kids? What's going on? It's Bishak. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that mutt the butcher's... Um, mutt? And isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? He's protecting his master. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? Well, I'm thinking about cutting off your head. But other than that, I was going to bury my parents. I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. What happened? Uh, to Teresa. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Okay, he's dead. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. Don't worry about that. I'm going to take care of that for you. Have I disturbed your loot? I've interrupted you robbing the dead. Is that why you're so ill-tempered? You bastard. Haven't you got a shred of honor? And what of it? The butcher has no more need of corn. And now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. Will you hand it over without a fuss, or do you want to end up like the butcher here? Are you saying you did the butcher? The sword is when I shove it in your guts. Because it was already out. Oh no, homeboy. You're not running away. No, 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 no. That's not how it's... Take care of here first. Oh. God, how I wish to be gone from this place. Henry. First, I must bury my parents. Why didn't you let me burn him, Henry? Hey there, doggers. I wonder if I could... Well, dog, I don't know that you'd like mushrooms, but here, have a pretzel. Good boy. Okay. Dig a grave under the linden tree. Alrighty. I think uh, we're at about time here, so we'll stop here in the shadow of smoke and the falling rain, and we'll pick up again next time. For the moment, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and share if you so desire, and to ask you, above all, to please take care.